Hello everyone. Today I have an example of a simply supported beam with a distributed load across it. So first, as you can see, we have a distributed load of 20 pounds per linear foot across a beam 12 feet long. We have two pinned reactions at its ends, uh, reaction A and reaction B. So what we want to do first is we want to figure out the reaction of A and reaction B. So, what we'll be doing first is summation of forces. First, we're going to take summation of forces in the x direction. So, based on our example, there are no forces acting in the x direction. Only this single force acting in the y direction, up and down. So, by inspection, we can say that we are balanced with zero forces in the x direction. Next, we need to take summation of forces in the y direction. Now, as shown again above, we have this 20 pounds per lineal foot vertical force, which is acting in the y direction. And we also have reaction A and reaction B acting against that vertical force. So, um, based on what I've done here, we're going to be designated uh, the up direction as a negative force and the downward direction as a positive force. So, let's balance our equations here. Um, I like to start by moving everything over to one side and just starting with uh, zero on the left-hand side, but um, it can be done either or. Um, all negative values can go on the left-hand side, and all positive values can go on the right-hand side, and vice versa. But, so, I start off with zero on the left-hand side. I have a negative RA value, that's my R reaction, that, uh, minus my reaction B, and then plus 20 pounds per linear foot across the length of the beam, 12 feet. Now, we can start to balance. Uh, I want to get my reactions on one side of the equation. So by doing that, you need to take the opposite um, sign in order to carry it across to the other side of the equal sign. So we have two negative values, negative RA and negative RB. We need to add those values to the other side. That way, these forces cancel on this side and are brought over to the left-hand side. This leaves us with an equation of Ra plus Rb equals 240 pounds. The 240 pounds, again, is 20 pounds per lineal foot times a distance of 12 feet. Again, now let's try to get split up our both of our reactions. So I'm going to be subtracting the positive RB value over to the right-hand side, giving us a final equation of RA equals 240 pounds minus RB. This is as far as we can go with this, um, with this equation. So we're going to need some additional information. So to do that, we need to go into our third category of summations, which is summations of the moments. Um, so as we all know, uh, moment is defined as a force times a perpendicular distance. Um, so what we have here is going to be zero on the left-hand side for our summation of our forces. Then we're going to be taking reaction, uh, excuse me, we're going to be taking the moment about point A. So I've designated MA equals zero. What that means is we're going to be taking all the moments summed about a singular point. I've chosen this point to be that area. So if you were to imagine putting your finger or a pin on that location and everything else spinning around that location, that's how we're going to be solving for our moments. So our moment is being solved about point A. So we have RB, which is reaction B, 
That's your force. And now we need its perpendicular distance. Its perpendicular distance to point A is 12 feet. So we have force RB times perpendicular distance of 12. That's your first value. That value is going in a, in a counterclockwise direction, which means it's a negative value. Next, we have, or excuse me, is a positive value. Next, we have um, the 20 pounds per lineal foot applied to the beam multiplied by its length of 12 feet. That's your force, 20 PLF times 12 feet. Its perpendicular distance is the center point of that force, which is 12 feet divided by two. So you have your force is 20 times 12 multiplied by its perpendicular distance, which is halfway between its force to point A, which is 12 divided by two. Those are your two forces. If we take these, we break them down, we balance the equation, we end up with reaction B being able to be solved. Reaction B equals 120 pounds. If we remember our other equation back in the summation of forces in the y direction, we never finished it. We needed an additional value, whether that be RA or RB. In summation of uh, moments, we were able to solve for RB equaling 120 pounds. By then plugging that back in to the original equation, we can now solve for RA. So 240 pounds minus 120 pounds equals RA of 120 pounds. And there you are. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be continually, continuously um, adding more videos over time with continuously more complex problems. Thank you.